Hi guys, I'm Paul. In this video I'm going to deep dive into Render and the Render token and give my detailed price prediction for the next bull run. I will explain Render's supply and tokenomics as well as key points to consider and the future outlook for the Render network. I will also discuss the recent Apple integration rumours and Render's move over to the Solana blockchain, so stay tuned for that as well. Just a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is meant for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Okay, now let's begin. About Render. The Render network is the first decentralized blockchain GPU rendering network built on Ethereum and has been designed for the 3D rendering industry to allow for processing of complex 3D graphics and animations. The Render network aims to provide a platform for basic rendering to artificial intelligence, which are completed efficiently and securely on the Render blockchain platform. But what is GPU rendering? Put simply, GPUs or graphic processing units use graphic cards to render images quickly and are used in place of CPUs or central processing units as they are faster at the overall rendering process. GPUs tend to be better at handling a very few specific tasks, whereas CPUs are better at handling multiple tasks at once. Because Render Network is decentralised, i.e. not controlled by a centralised company or entity, this gives it the ability to scale the next generation of rendering work at a very low cost and at a much faster speed than centralised GPU cloud alternatives. The Render Network was launched in 2017 and was founded in 2016 by Jules Erbach, who has over 25 years of experience in the computer graphics and 3D rendering industry, and he believes his company is building the next level metaverse rendering company, which will compete with the big Hollywood studios. Render is the native digital cryptocurrency token of the Render Network, and it is used as a form of currency to pay transactions on the network, for example to pay animations and VFX rendering. Render is currently an ERC20 token, which is a standard used for creating and issuing smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain, and Render's all-time high price at time of recording is $8.78. Render Supply and Tokenomics The Render network was launched with a total max supply of 536 million tokens and has a current circulating supply of around 371 million tokens. The Render token is primarily used as currency to pay transaction fees on the network. The initial distribution of Render tokens is as follows. 65% is allocated to Render user development, 25% is allocated to token public sale, and 10% is allocated to Render reserve. To elaborate further on the 65% token allocation to Render user development, this is basically being held to help control the ongoing supply and demand on the network. The rendered transaction fees are linked to the transaction volume on the network, but are capped between 0.5% and 5%, and the transaction fees are used to cover the operating costs on the network. Also, Render Network recently announced Render Credits, which can be used to purchase rendering power on the network. This allows less technical creators to interact more easily with the platform using PayPal and Stripe. Render Network Explained the Render Network states on its website that it creates more efficient, powerful and widely scalable rendering network and was built with creators in mind within the main sectors of media, augmented reality, gaming, virtual reality and more. Users can share their GPU power on the Render platform and earn rewards for doing so. And as you can see from the image, the Render Network connects users looking to perform render jobs and it works by a user submitting a job the protocol then calculates the amount of render tokens required to perform the job. Details are then attached to a smart contract and sent across to the render network. Next, a GPU owner uses Octane Render, which is a rendering software engine the render network uses to process the requested job. And on completion of the job, render tokens are transferred via smart contract to the GPU owner to be paid. In simple terms, the Render Network allows GPU owners to loan out their GPU power to creators in need of additional power, which saves the creator a lot of time and money, as otherwise they would have to go out and buy computers themselves to do the required jobs. The Render Network consists of three sections working together as follows. 1. Creators who purchase services using Render Tokens. 2. Node operators or GPU owners who help supply GPU power in return for Render Tokens. 3. Octane Render software which creates the graphics. What is Octane Render? 
Octane Render is a GPU render engine which was developed by OTOY, a software company run by CEO Jules Erbach, who also happens to be the founder of Render. And Octane Render is an unbiased rendering application with real-time capability. To put it simply, the software calculates the final render of an image, achieving the highest level of design and quality, and is predominantly used for movies and video games. What makes it special is it can seamlessly integrate with most content creation applications and allows creators to modify or edit a scene in real time. For these reasons, it's very popular in the film and gaming industry and is said Octane Render was used in the hit series Westworld. Apple Integration Rumours At Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference back in June 6, 2023, Apple featured Octane X, a GPU rendering feature company directly connected to the render founder, Jules Erbach, as he is both CEO of OTOY, the company behind Octane X, and also the founder of Render. Why this matters is Octane X is currently available on the Mac Apple Store, and Apple hinted at the event in June the future iPhones could soon be compatible with the Render graphics network, which would be huge for Render. In a more recent Twitter post on the 13th of September 2023, following the latest Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference on September 12th, 2023, the Render Network hinted when they said the following. Today at Worldwide Developers Conference, Apple revealed that the iPhone 15 will be the first iPhone to feature hardware accelerated ray tracing on the A17 Pro chipset. Leveraging Octane X and using the iPhone as a render node will be a game changer. It should be noted I haven't found any official announcements from Apple themselves to back this post, but if found to be true, it sets a big precedence for GPU rendering and distributed computing moving forward. Render Networks Competition The Render Network has several competitors, mainly from the centralised GPU space, including Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, Microsoft Azure and iRender. I think the way that Render will look to differentiate itself from these companies like Google Cloud is through transparency and security, as using the blockchain and smart contract functionality ensures a high level of trust, which you don't necessarily get from a more centralised company as mentioned above. Lastly, cost will play an important role in the Render network's success over its competition, and the network is already proving to be a very cost-effective solution for creators. Render network moving to Solana. The Render Network Foundation announced earlier this year that it plans to move its core network to Solana ecosystem and the reason for this is because Solana offers much faster transaction speeds and lower costs per transactions. The Render founder said in a statement, I think if nothing else we need to ensure we get fast speed but never at the expense of security in the long run. This announcement follows a successful vote by the Render community in January 2023 to implement a burn and mint equilibrium mechanism, otherwise known as BME, which the Render Network Foundation plans to build on the Solana blockchain. What is the BME? The burn and mint mechanism effectively burns or destroys 95% of Render tokens when a job is submitted on the Render Network, and the remaining 5% will be sent to the Render Network Foundation to support further development on the network. No date has been set of when the move over to Solana blockchain will take place, but it's possible it could be done by end of 2023. Key points of Render. Render has several benefits that make it a great platform, including scalability. Render has a highly scalable GPU rendering network that enables it to meet any project size and scope. Energy efficient. Most GPUs sit idle when not in use, which uses unnecessary energy consumption, but the Render Decentralized Network offers a much better energy efficient infrastructure for artists and developers. First of its kind, the Render Network is the first decentralized network to power GPU technology. Render Price Prediction OK, so before we look at the price prediction for Render in the next bull run, let's remind ourselves of Render's previous all-time high price, which was $8.78. This price gave it a market cap at the time of around $3 billion. On the conservative end of my price prediction, and not financial advice, just my opinion, I think Render could increase its price in the next bull run to $9. This would give it a market cap of around $3.3 billion. 
on my bullish price prediction, and this is based on a number of factors as mentioned early in the video, including the Apple integration partnership, if that becomes reality, I believe Render could increase its overall price in the next bull run to around $12. This would give it a market cap of around $4.4 billion. I believe a price of between $9 and $12 Render is possible in the next bull run. Render Future Outlook I believe the Render Network and the Render Token have huge potential, with it being the first decentralised network to power GPU technology and rumours of a possible partnership with Apple in the future, which if proven to be true will see massive interest from investors in the project. The Render Network is very secure and cost effective, so it does bring a lot to the table for creators and being on the blockchain it's trustworthy rendering platform which investors will also see as appealing. My only concern is competition. Render is going up against some big established companies who have already set themselves up in the GPU rendering space, including Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure. So they will need to be able to convince customers currently using these companies to move over to the Render network. With all this said, Render does have a real use case and the rumours of a possible partnership with Apple has seen the price increase by over 245% in 2023. So I will be watching to see how the price performs over the next few months going into the new year and its success in the future will ultimately be judged on convincing customers to use the Render platform over its centralised competitors. If you like this video, I think you'll like this video next and please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to help support the channel and stay notified of when I post my next video. Thank you.